Good morning, my name is Julia Cohn. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Illinois. Uh, and I'd like to thank the moderators and sages for the opportunity to present uh, the results of the research I conducted with North Shore University Health System this summer. I have nothing to disclose. Uh, as we all know, um, laparoscopic cholecystectomy is extremely popular. Uh, with over uh, 700,000 uh, cases being performed in the United States annually. Uh, despite the approximately 30 years since the technique was introduced, uh, there have been no level one studies to validate its safety. Um, however, it is generally accepted that rates of bile duct injury and laparoscopic cholecystectomy <clears throat> are higher than they are with open surgery. Um, previously, a rate of approximately 0.1 to 0.25% uh, of common bile duct injury was cited for open cholecystectomy. Uh, and more recently, a point, about a 0.3% rate of uh, bile duct injury has been acknowledged for laparoscopic cholecystectomy by SAGES. Um, it's difficult to know the true uh, rate of common bile duct injury in these procedures. Um, a large database study um, may uh, be relying on ICD coding and reoperative rates to find bile duct injuries, whereas a smaller study um, may be uh, too small to find any injuries or may lack statistical power. <coughs> North Shore University Health System is a four-site uh, hospital system with a robust surgical practice and a mature electronic medical record uh, dating back to 2000. Uh, we had approximately 3,000 cholecystectomies performed between the years 2009 and 2015. 800 of these were randomly selected, selected and the uh, EMR was retrospectively reviewed. Uh, a single reviewer examined all of the operative notes, thereby, thereby capturing all cases of biliary injury regardless of severity, ICD code, or a second procedure. Um, biliary injuries were classified per Strasburg, and logistic regression models were used um, to identify univariate and multivariate predictors of biliary injury. In this study, we had a total of seven cases with uh, some form of biliary injury, 0.4%, uh, so three cases had a cystic duct leak, uh, and four, uh, four cases with a 0.5% rate uh, had a common bile duct injury. Um, two pa patients actually had two unique injuries apiece. Uh, so in total, we had uh, four cystic duct leaks, cystic duct leaks overall, uh, four class D injuries, which is a partial transection of the common bile duct, and one class E2, um, a partial structure of the common bile duct. Uh, only three of these seven cases were completed laparoscopically. The remainder were converted to open. Uh, we also collected data on the critical view of safety. Uh, we had 31% of the 800 charts uh, where the critical view was stated to be obtained. Um, however, only 12.4% uh, of the 800 charts described the critical view of sa safety uh, in a manner consistent with SAGES. Uh, and as previous presenters have described, um, that technique is the clearing of the triangle of Collot, um, exposing the distal third of the cystic plate, and um, identifying only two structures entering the gallbladder before dividing anything. Significant differences between patients with and without biliary injury um, we had a, we showed a higher, excuse me, a lower preoperative hemoglobin in those patients with biliary injury, a higher rate of urgent surgery, and a higher percentage uh, who had a fundus first dissection. Um, there were also uh, higher percentages of acute inflammatory conditions in patients with biliary injury, um, a surgeon di diagnosis of acute cholecystitis prior to surgery, um, gangrene and empyema uh, diagnosed um, after the operation was completed, and a pathologic diagnosis of um, acute cholecystitis or necrosis with a lower rate of col chronic cholecystitis. Uh, on univariate model um, for predicting biliary injuries, uh, positive predictors included a higher uh, uh, American Society of Anesthesiologists class, a higher rate of urgent surgery, uh, and again, those inf acutely inflammatory conditions of acute cholecystitis, gangrene necrosis, gallbladder empyema, um, uh, and pr protective factors included a higher preoperative hemoglobin uh, and a pathologic diagnosis of chronic cholecystitis. Unfortunately, given that we had only seven patients uh, to analyze with biliary injury, although fortunate for the patients, um, many of the uh, univariate model factors uh, fell out of the multivariate model. Um, the remaining independent predictor um, was a higher, higher preoperative hemoglobin, and I should say, um, it was, this was independently protective against uh, having a common bile duct injury or a cystic duct leak. In conclusion, um, the rate of biliary injury in the study was 0.9%, uh, with a 0.5% rate of common bile duct injury 
and a 0.4% rate of cystic duct leak. Uh, nearly all of these common bile duct injuries were class D, a partial bile duct transection, uh, and all were able to be repaired interoperatively. Positive predictors of biliary injury may include acutely inflamed conditions and urgent surgery, although again, uh, we suffered from an issue with power. Um, higher preoperative hemoglobin was independently protective against biliary injury. Uh, we suspect this may be related to a, um, a marker of inflammation rather than indicating a directly protective effect of hemoglobin um, for the patients. Um, and there was no correlation of the critical view of safety with prevention of biliary injury. But again, given that only 31% of charts documented that the critical view had been obtained, um, this may be more a power issue than a failure of the technique. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Thank you. Are there any questions? Can I make a comment? Um, I have a question. Okay, um, do you have an explanation for the hemoglobin by any chance? Or? Um, not per se. We think it might be a marker of inflammation. Um, it hasn't been thoroughly documented in the literature. Um, there have been some papers um, that I reviewed in colorectal surgery um, that also indicated a similar association of anemia with surgical complications. Okay. This is something you, I'd like to follow uh, up on. You use the ASC score. We had a recent publication that came out with the Charleston score. Did that change or affect, in your opinion, your data? Or your the ASA score? Yeah. Um, that was a preoperative um, risk factor, excuse me, a univariate risk factor for biliary injury. It fell out of the multivariate analysis, but I'd be curious to know if that persisted with more patients. Okay. Oh, please. Uh, th thank you for your uh, outstanding speech. I am Zhuang from Taiwan. I have two questions for you. The first one, uh, although the CC luck leak and the bioduct injury uh, all uh, belong to the bioduct injury, but I think we are always interested with, uh, in the uh, common bioduct injury because this is the uh, really disaster and it's very difficult to treat. So I think maybe you, you uh, do you have any data uh, to, uh, of a subgroup analysis just uh, include the bioduct injury for the common bioduct injury in this analysis? Uh, I don't have separate data about that. Um, I'd be interested to find out more about it and uh, hopefully follow up on that in the future. I think maybe uh, if, uh, if you, you just include the patient with common bowel injury, maybe the conclusion will differ from this. Uh, the second question is, uh, you, you, you mentioned that the, the chronic cholecystitis is a protective factor, but we all know that uh, in a condition of high drops of gallbladder, it's very difficult to open the critical view of safety, and it is a very uh, danger to dissect in that plan. So I think maybe this is not uh, uh, actually uh, we always face about the, the 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 difficulty in dissect the plan in the chronic cholecystitis, like the the, the high drops of COVID. Yeah. We uh, and we did uh, record high drops when it was present. Um, I don't believe there were significant differences between the two groups. Yeah. I just have one question. Did you get a chance to look when was the bile duct injury operated on versus when the surgery was done? I mean, was it within the first week, six weeks, or later? Did you have a chance oh. to look at that in your retrospective when, review? When repair occurred? Yeah. Um, all of the uh, bil common bile duct injuries were repaired at the time of uh, cholecystectomy. So your data here are for the immediate recognition and immediate care. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you.